This evolutionary schism forces one to understand that the first Homo sapiens may have been Enoch, aka the Monkey King, and his descendants, because if you trace his lineage, you will see that Noah is the final descendant with unscathed DNA, and his sons go on to give birth to the human race that we are today. If you take a step back and explain this in simple terms, ancient earth, huge empires, god kings and aliens, then no one's going to believe you. But if you can dissect the entire thesis and the proofs concerning who, what, where, when and why, then you might have a fair chance at convincing the mainstream community. It all makes perfect sense if you understand anything about Mesoamerican or Egyptian pyramids. The goal was to transport the deceased soul meaning that these ancient beings were attempting to travel to the afterlife instantaneously. So what we're saying is that the pyramids are the technological burial devices in which such a feat is accomplished. Now we have to get the published scientists and the theologians, get them together, have some commentary, because this is the topic in which we need to dive into as a collective human race. This is our beginning, and we need to know what the hell happened. The scientific proofs and literary interpretations are enough to leave veteran scientists questioning the very foundation on which they study. Will they choose to reopen the books and give these theories the attention that they deserve? Or will history repeat itself and lose the knowledge of the ancients? The Bosnian pyramids are a great new find. Researchers carbon dated a leaking shaft to be about 5000 BC, meaning that the modified mountains are probably up to five times older, and because of their location, may be the resting place of pre-flood beings of ancient Greece. Planet X is due back soon, so I guess we could just wait and ask God himself. So yeah, we're basically trying to tell you that the gods and goddesses of old did exist, but were they divine? 